Today we are debating the resolution middle and high school should not be co-educational. I, I on the negative side and strong, strongly disagree with, with this topic. I, I refute my opponent's points and then I will show my own. My, my opponent's first point was success. She said that um, girls, girls, is, girls are more successful than boys in school. It, it's, it's not true because um, success, success depend, is, depends on choosing students or different social, social backgrounds or teachers' quality. So we cannot say girls are more successful or boys are more successful. And my, my opponent's second point was di distraction. And she said that the sexual harassment happened and students are immature. It's it's true, but it, uh, no, it's not always true <coughs> because uh, stu if if students are in coeducational school, students can learn uh, how how to how to avoid distraction and and sexual harassment will happen in the future, so they they should learn how to avoid uh, sexual har harassment. <laughs> I refute my opponent's points. Now I show my own. I have three reasons. First, improvement. Second, money. Third, confidence. My first point is improvement. In co-educational schools, students can interact with boys and girls and spend their lives as if they were in uh, real life uh, like workplace in single in single sex schools, students cannot learn how how they cope with opposite sex people. Tenant, the principal of Saint Francis High School, said that the base of how they treat each other is created by staying with boys and girls. <laughs> Second point is money as. As integrated solution incorporated says that it is difficult for poor countries to build many schools with a lot of money. If people adopt co education, they don't have to they don't have to um, spend extra money to build schools. Because both both students are supposed to be in same place. My third point is confidence. According to Whitley College, about 85% of students in co-educational school feel confident of their study. Competing with other sex people encourages their, uh, their confidence and makes them work harder. Of these sex students are needed to be successful in, in school. I've shown <coughs> three reasons in, improvement and money and confidence. Reason for my idea. <coughs> How long was that?
first I will refit my opponent's point, then I will keep my own. My opponent's first point was improvement. He says that uh, students can learn how to how to interact with the other sex students in co-education schools. But this is uh, it's easy. It's not necessary to because they uh, students in single schools can contact with teachers and also after graduating from high school they can contact with the other sex students. My opponent's second point was money. He said that co-education schools cost less time to make to make a lot of schools but it's easy to solve because we don't have to increase the number of number of schools in one school, they can uh, a lot of students can enter. And uh, my opponent third point was confidence. He said that he said that uh, students in co-education schools are more confident than students in single sex schools, but it's not the true. Because especially girls, are, uh, it's true, girls are more confident in single sex schools because they don't have to care about care about the other sex. And uh, now I, I have refuted my opponent's points. Now I will give my own. Uh, no, I will support my points. My first point was success. He says that it's not true. It's not true to be successful because it depends on person or the, the teacher's quality. But it but it's not true. Every one of the top 15 elementary school and the top 20 high school in, Brit in Britain are single sex, uh, single sex schools. So schools should give the best environment to be successful to students. My opponent's second point, no, my second point was distraction. He said that it's not true. It's not true to, to to be distracted by the other sex because students in co-education schools can no, can learn how to avoid sexual avoid sexual harassment, but it's not true because because. My third point was my third point was <laughs> point was developing speed. Ah uh, no, he didn't mention it. Again, developing speed. Right, so just re say your point. My third point was developing speed. I said. I said that. I said that they are developing speed is different, so it's difficult to study together. But he didn't. Refute it. I have, I have, I have support. I support with my three points. Nice.
Hey Kaiko, how long was her refutation? I, uh, I, I, I regard uh, my opponents. No, I, my first point was in, improvement. She said that <coughs> in, in students can interact with other sex students uh, without high school. <coughs> it's true, but it's. Uh, it is easy to solve because the time that students spend uh, in high school is is very important and so they need to communicate with each other more more and more and and their communication skills and their maturity will, will be higher <laughs> and my second point was money she said that if people make a lot of schools, students can en can enter. <coughs> it's that true, but um, it's not relevant because if people make a lot of schools, te a lot of teachers are needed. <coughs> so this this costs much more money. So um, co-education school. Keep, keeping co educational schools is better. My third point is confidence. She said that um, if uh, if if students are in single sex schools, they don't they don't have to care about uh, others. That's true, but it's not relevant because competition competition is very important to have confidence and they need so they need to compete with each other and to to have confidence uh, <coughs> so I have shown that uh, I have shown three reasons um, improvement and money and confidence I strongly disagree with with this topic, please support my ideas. Thank you. Remember, it's 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 not a topic; it's a resolution, mm -hmm. right? Resolution. All right. Who's next? Yep. Yeah, thanks. Thanks.